we will be discussing about the domestic architecture and construction of streets and drains in the Indus Valley Civilization in this section of the important features of the Harappan Civilization. From excavations it has been found that houses were both of large and small size. Some houses were only of one room whereas there were also houses which had I mean, 12 rooms. Every house had a kitchen, a bathroom, a toilet and also a well. The planning of most of the houses, whether it was big or small, was similar. Houses used to have a square courtyard in the middle and many rooms used to be constructed around it. The courtyard in the house normally were used to be the center of the domestic activities of the people living in the house. Houses used to be of two or three story, story also, which is proved by the presence of staircases in many of the houses. Normally, uh, the courtyard in the house used to be hidden from the view of the passerbys in the streets by constructing a room in the front so that the activities going on in the courtyard could not be viewed by the people moving in the streets. Normally in the houses, the doors and windows of the houses did not open out in the main street. There were no windows in the walls along the ground floor. And this was basically done for the privacy of the houses. There used to be windows in the second stories, but in the ground floor there didn't used to be windows in the houses. Normally, the floors of the houses were built of burnt bricks. Doors used to be made of wood. And in some cases, it used to be carved also and painted. Almost all of the houses used to have their own bathrooms. There used to be drains in the houses which connected the bathrooms with the drains in the street. Besides, almost all the large houses had wells which were dug in such a way that it could be used both from inside and outside. An important feature of the town planning of the Indus Valley Civilization was its scientifically planned streets and drains. This has not been seen in any of the contemporary civilizations of that time. The scientific construction of the drains which used to come out from the houses to the drains in the streets which finally used to go and join the bigger drains in the main streets or the roads and finally the sewage water used to be carried out of the city and drained systematically. This has not been found in any of the contemporary civilizations. Streets were also led very scientifically. They normally used to be constructed east to west and north to south, which used to divide the city into many sections. The roads were laid out in such a way that they used to be cleaned automatically by the blowing winds and that is why they were constructed either north to south or east to west. Besides, 
it can be also claimed that the Indus Valley people were very skilled in the construction of drains. Every house had small drains which connected with the bathrooms and the toilets and also the kitchen. The drains carried the waste water of the houses to the medium and sized drains built in the side of the streets which further connected to the big sewers in the main streets and the roads. These drains used to be covered also by burnt bricks. At regular intervals, soak pits used to be constructed in the drains so that it could be cleaned at regular intervals. The large drains in the streets were also covered with bricks and slabs of stone. There used to be triangular bricks also which were used at the turn of the drains and rectangular slump pits were made at regular intervals along the main sewage drains. From the excavations what we have got, it can also be said that the Harappan people were very conscious about cleanliness. They didn't use to throw throw their refuse or the waste into the drains or on the streets but they used to have a very systematic system of disposal of waste. They used to place covered dust bins outside their houses in which they used to throw the garbage and that used to be systematically cleaned by the various authorities. After having a deep perusal of uh, the town planning and the drainage system of the Indus Valley civilization, which was a bronze civilization, it can be said that it was a very scientifically developed and systematically planned civilization having a unique drainage system which no other contemporary civilization had and the people gave a lot of attention to the health and cleanliness which has not been seen in any civilization of that time.